YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. This is Canadian Retro. I've got another pickups video for you today. This one's pretty cool here. Um, the other day I was in the uh, Talese, which is the local store to me that I mentioned pretty much in every video. I'm pretty much hitting up uh, two stores at this point just because uh, one sort of out of the way. So uh, that's pretty much what I have left available to me in my immediate area after work. So I basically keep mentioning the same one like I'm saying though. But um, yeah, so I hit up the Talese the other day, and one of the employees said that uh, in the next couple of days there should be some games coming out, and that's a really good heads up. It's nice to um, get to know the employees in a place, that's for sure. It definitely pays off uh, as far as, you know, you know, talking to these people, let them know what you're interested in, all that kind of stuff. Um, some people, I think, are a little bit hesitant to do that. They're worried that, you know, employees are going to catch note of a lot of people doing that and maybe raise their prices up or things like that but I found that it's really worked out in my favor it hasn't really affected the prices particularly at this location uh, so one of the employees there knows that I'm looking for games and when he sees me uh, he'll definitely have that conversation with me letting me know if stuff's coming in which is sort of what led to I think finding these things uh, he sort of gave me a heads up and that allowed me you know the next day to kind of come in and be there at the right time sort of thing so this is um what I got here from this whole thing, uh, what ended up happening was I went in at lunchtime, talked to the employee, and uh, he saw me there and he's like, oh, I got these things that are coming out right now. So he brought them out to the uh, glass case and I was just sort of standing there meeting them. I mean, he has to, he can't just bring them right out to me. So he had to take them up to the glass case and I was standing there waiting for them. And literally, um, as he's pulling up, another gentleman was standing there and he was uh, ravenous for games as well. Uh, so it was kind of a bit of a battle there going at the games, trying to get our hands on everything we possibly could as they were coming out. Cause there must've been, I'd say at least uh, 20 loose Genesis games. And there was another stack of probably about 10 uh, Dreamcast games. Now, first thing I grabbed um, in this free for all were the Dreamcast titles and then uh, went on and uh, started picking through some of the Genesis stuff that was sitting there. And, um, you know, it wasn't like totally ravenous near the end. I mean, he, things that he was discarding, he was, you know, setting me up kind of with. All the stuff that I grabbed, I sort of grabbed just instinctively knowing what things I wanted. So I didn't really need to offer him any of the things I had because the stuff I grabbed was stuff that I was after. But he did uh, throw a couple of titles my way that he wasn't really interested in. And I figured, um, as far as, you know, getting a deal on them, they were worth picking up. So I'll get started on the uh, Genesis stuff to get started here. Uh, this is gonna be pretty good though. Uh, first one here is Mortal Kombat 2. And all of these were $5 each, but um, when you buy five of them, the fifth one's free. So basically it's like you buy four, you get one free um, for you know media, any kind of media really. So I just kind of got this one and I'll just call that the uh, freebie so I can call the rest of them $5 games. But pretty cool right there. I mean, I already have this in the collection, but I'll just bundle that with the system as a uh, incentive to, you know, purchase it or whatever. Cause you know, obviously Mortal Kombat's a classic kind of series sort of thing. So pretty cool right there. Uh, the next one here was Dragon the Bruce Lee story, which I believe I already have. I'm just trying to see here past the camera a little bit here and uh, see where it is on the shelf. But I'm fairly certain I already have this one boxed and complete. I know I have it loose also for the Super Nintendo. So pretty cool right there. It's in pretty decent shape uh, for the most part. I'd say that's actually one of the better looking games in the lot. So kind of nice for five bucks right there. A uh, game I didn't have, and I think a lot of these ones coming up I don't have, which is really nice. I was Samurai Showdown, so pretty cool right there. This is uh, something that you know I've had my eye out for a little bit, and glad to be able to find it uh, in the thrift shop. And this was one of the ones I think that he turned down, just because um, I think he said he already had it, so he was willing to turn that one down, and that really helped me out a lot right there. Um, moving on though. The next one here is Lethal Enforcers Gunfighters. I don't actually have uh, the equipment for running this game, but I figured, you know, just on its own, pretty cool and something I didn't have in the collection already, so kind of nice to pick that one up. 
Uh, the next one here, I was trying to remember if I had it in my collection. I really didn't have time to go through my collection um, app while I was doing this, just like I said, because it was a grab and go kind of scenario. But uh, it's Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I'm fairly certain I have this. If not, I do have this on the Super Nintendo. I'm absolutely certain of that. But uh, pretty cool nonetheless uh, to get that one. Uh, the next one here is something I've been after for a long time, and I actually saw a local deal for it pretty recently. I think somebody wanted a reasonable price for it, but I just didn't really get the opportunity to, um, you know, sink my teeth into it, or whatever you like to call that, scoop that deal up, so I'm glad I found it. And this one's in pretty immaculate shape as well, and it's Rocket Knight Adventures, so really pumped about this one. And uh, Longshot said he could hook me up with a case for that, so hopefully the next time I see him, I'll be able to get that from him, and I'll be able to put that uh, with the other case uh, games on, on the wall over there. So pretty sweet right there. And then the last one, and I don't know how to pronounce this um, title right here, but for the Genesis is Thelios. Uh, this one here is a little bit of wear on the top of it. But again, uh, I don't know a whole lot about this one. I just saw it and figured it must be something valuable. I think I've heard of this before, but it's hard to remember uh, every single game off the top of your head kind of thing. I think this one might be like an arcade kind of shooter. I'm not totally certain about that, but... I'll check some gameplay out of it a little bit later on and uh, find out a little bit more about it. But when I saw it in Namco title, I figured um, I definitely wanted that one. So pretty pumped about the Genesis side of things. And this gets into the uh, Dreamcast section here next. A title I probably could have left behind, but again, because, um, you know, it's like a, you know, buy four and get one free kind of thing. It was definitely uh, something that I was willing to pick up. I already have it in my collection, so I'll have to check it against the one I have, but uh, it's Centipede for the Dreamcast, and the case here is all cracked up and stuff, but uh, disc conditions on all of these are pretty similar, I think. Uh, for the most part, there's a few like fingerprints on it, but it's pretty sweet. I don't know if you can totally make that out there, but still cool nonetheless. Uh, Centipede. The next one here, I know I have in my collection already, but again, I'll use this with a system kind of to flip a system because I do have a system I picked up very recently. So that's going to, this will definitely go with that. And that's Eco the Dolphin Defender of the Future. And again, I'll have to figure out, you know, disc conditions and all that kind of stuff with this. But again, it's in pretty decent shape. Uh, some stickers on it and things, but otherwise I'll be able to clean that up and it'll be pretty good to go. Uh, next one here is really cool. Um, I did not have the proper artwork for this one. I got this in a lot a little while ago, maybe like a year and a half ago, um, and never uh, got the the proper casing and stuff like that on it. So basically I think it has like, possibly like the back art, um, but mostly like a pretty beat up disc and this kind of thing, but pretty cool to get Sonic Shuffle. Um, so I'll be able to get that one. And this one's all nice and complete and manuals in great shape and uh, disc is sort of like the other ones. So. I'll have to clean it up a little bit, but I think it'll be pretty good to go. So I'm pretty happy with that, that's for sure, because that's an upgrade for the one that I have in my collection already, and then I'll be able to take that other one and bundle it with that system as well, so kind of nice. Uh, next one here is something you don't see that often, I don't think, and that's Fur Fighters. So pretty cool. This one has an unfortunate uh, scenario with it, though. It is missing the inside of its um, instruction booklet. So it's not in the world's greatest shape, I don't think. Uh, someone, yeah, it's not in the world's greatest shape, but again, I can always clean that up a little bit on the disc resurfacer if it's required, but honestly, uh, I have pretty good luck with uh, Dreamcast games playing, you know, all the way around, so I have no problem with that. It'll probably work just fine, so I'll be pretty happy to uh, add that one to the collection, that's for sure. And then the last one here, uh, this is a pretty decent score as well, and it is Cyber Troopers uh, Virtual Lawn. So pretty cool. You don't really get to see a lot of Dreamcast stuff. So when you do, uh, definitely worth picking up. And it's in pretty amazing shape. And the manual's, you know, all in there and great. Uh, this one here is, you know, like one of those mech kind of uh, games. Not totally my necessarily genre of interest, but maybe I'll give some a try. I've been finding a few of the uh, mech games lately. So I'll give that one a try and uh, see what that's all about. But pretty awesome score all around. I mean, for all of that stuff right there with the free game kind of thing with with uh, buying four and getting one free um, you know it was a really good deal I ended up being like about fifty two dollars something like that uh, for for all of that stuff and I think that's a pretty amazing and solid deal what, tell me what you guys think though thanks again for watching if you haven't subscribed yet please do feel free to thumbs up this video comment down below and I will see you all later